YouTube, well, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Allie D'Andrea. I'm an AB. I'm a hunter, an angler, a public lands advocate, and lover of all things outdoors. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Today, we've got something exciting on the menu. I'm going to be building an at-home archery shop. Ever since I started my archery journey, I have been interested in learning about bows and working on my own bows. And I finally have made the commitment to building my own at-home archery shop where I have everything that I need to work on my bow properly. In this video, I'm going to show you guys all of the goods that I bought. There are lots of boxes behind me that need unboxing. So without more jibber jabbering, Let's jump right in. I apologize for the mess. Mm -hmm. I also want to mention this video will only run through all of the large items that I purchased. And there is a second video that runs through all of the small gear in my at home archery shop. First thing on the list is to assemble the stand for my bow press. That doesn't seem right. So there you have it. That is the Easy Press stand. These are both pretty wobbly. I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. Right now, the stand does not seem very stable. That's step one. That's the, that's the stand that my press will go on. So let's unbox the next box. It, my friends this is my bow press all set up so this is the easy green press I bought it from last chance archery the stand was also sold by the same company I had a lot of trouble yesterday getting this base secure wobbles so much huh. so I gave them a call and they said that you really need to tighten this screw to the base and that it will bend the metal a little bit, but that's okay. So add that to your list. First thing that you'll need is bow press. Second optional thing is a stand or workbench to put it on. Let's move on. Voila. Ooh. Ooh. Next thing on the list, a vise. I needed to find a vise that had its own stand because again, I don't have a workbench. If you do have a workbench, you don't need to worry about this, but it was really, really hard. This is the only bow specific vise that I could find that had a freestanding base and boy was it expensive. Buying a base for your vise is not something that I would recommend unless you absolutely need it because it will cost you a lot more money. Same with this stand as well. Now that I think about it, I spent a lot of money just on metal stands for a lot of these pieces. Still don't regret it though. A vise is an absolute must and there are more affordable options out there. This whole thing ran me like $350 and there are vices on the internet for $50 but you have to bolt them to a solid workbench. We already went over that, you get the point. Yeah, not much else to say, get yourself a vise. The third major piece of gear that you will need is a drawboard. This is another must if you are going to be working on your bows yourself. A drawboard is important for watching cam timing and seeing if there's any cam lean. Which are all things that you can learn on the internet and I will be making those kind of videos in the future. Now let me show you my draw board. So this is also by Last Chance Archery. And the reason why I purchased this draw board is because it fits into my press. And it's so small and packable, which again, as you know, is important to my mobile setup. Let me show you how it works. Boom, boom, 
So these slide in on either end, bow will go here, and then the metal ring will slip around the D loop and you'll crank it, crank it back, and then you'll be able to actually watch. Now, because it's on the press, if you need to increase the length for your specific bow draw length, you can crank this out. This is kind of a random point, but when you're going to buy a bow press, you'll notice that some of the models are more expensive than others. And a lot of the time, those more expensive models have a motor on this arm that increases or decreases the length. If you are an at-home archer like I am, I would not recommend buying the one with the motor because you just don't need it. Those are really geared toward bow shops that are cranking out bow after bow after bow. And for them, that's a lot more important because it saves them time. And for them, that's money. But for you, you know, it's one bow. That's the draw board, yay. Next. The last thing that you need is an arrow cutter. This is the only piece of gear that I would say is optional for your at-home bow tuning setup because you can order arrows that are cut to the proper length online. So this is the one area that I would say for a bow tuning shop, you don't need an arrow cutter. But should you get an arrow cutter? Yes, if you really, really wanna have a hand in everything on your bow. So let's open this sucker up. Oh, wow. Kind of smells <laughs> like doo-doo. Wow. Definitely open this upside down. There's a little assembly with this guy too. So far there's been assembly with everything that I bought. Mounting, woo -hoo. So for those of you out there looking for a mobile setup as well, the instructions for this arrow saw recommends that it is permanently mounted to prevent excess vibration and movement during use. I will not be mounting it to something, but just to throw that out there before you go through this journey like I am. Now it does say as an alternative, C clamps may be used, which aren't included, but you could obviously just clamp this to a surface, which I will do. So that is it, you guys. This is officially the beginning of my journey on working on my own bows at home. To summarize, you will need a bow press, a bow vise, a draw board, if you plan to work on your own bow at home. Those are the three big pieces of gear. An optional piece of gear that I included in this video is an arrow saw. Stay tuned for the next video where I will show you all of the nitty gritty small pieces of gear that you will also need in your at home bow shop. And that's it you guys. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to work on my own bow ever since I started archery and the fact that I, I don't know why I waited so long, but it's finally a reality that I will be able to work on my own gear and I'm really excited. I can't wait to share this journey with you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.